Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today he joins us at Huddersfield Golf Club where we've had a little bit of trouble in the mill and we've had a couple of members recently, um, you know, be forced to go and buy some golf grips online because our supply has been so bad this year, you know, and it's not just a problem we're having at this golf club, but a lot of retailers are having a problem are, are getting all the grips, you know, even manufacturers are, are having problems getting all the grips. So we've had a couple of members, um, you know, have to go online to order some grips and you know, unfortunately, they've, they've got counterfeits grips and this is becoming a real common issue now because, you know, these scammers or whatever you want to call them are seeing a great opportunity. You know, they, they're not daft, these people, are they? Um, but I found a chink in their armour and I'm going to show you guys how to identify whether you bought fake grips or not. But the fun doesn't stop there because what we're going to do, we're going to fit a real grip and we're going to fit a fake grip and we're going to ask some of our members to to feel both golf clubs to see if they can identify which one's the fake one and which one's the real one we're going to see how good these counterfeit ones are um but i think what's most important about this video is that you know these grips are so good you know the copy of them is so good they look you know so real that i want you guys to be able to identify whether you bought fake grips or not and i've got i found a chink in their armor which I'm going to show you, and you won't need a real one to see them side by side to identify if you've got a fake. And you know, that's how good these grips are. And you know, if you've got them side by side, unless you work in the industry and you pick up real ones every day, you just won't know. But I have found a chink in their arm and a way in identifying if you have bought a fake grip, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm now holding a fake and a real grip. And I'm going to put some real close ups on screen so you can have a look at these. And you'll notice that, you know, although they look quite similar, when you put them side by side, you can see some differences. You might be able to just pick up on, you know, there's a little bit of difference in colour. Um, and there's a, probably a little bit of difference in the definition of the material. If you look at the top of the butt ends of the grip, uh, they're a little bit different. But could you identify which one's a fake and real one? You know, even if you had them both side by side now with these pictures, I'm guessing you guys can't identify which is the fake and which is the real. So, but have a guess. Let's have a bit of fun. Do you think the one on the right is real or the one on the left is real? Because I don't think you're going to be able to tell just by looking at these grips. But I'm going to show you where I identify them. And it's, it's where, the, where they've come unstuck here for me is that, you know, on Golf Pride grips, this is a real one, by the way, um, they've got a little bit of a rip. I, I call it a, that's not a great example, actually it's already torn but they've got like a little bit of a rip cord so with just a little bit of pressure with your fingernail here all you have to do is put your fingernail underneath and this bit just you know it just peels off it's so easy to take this little bit off here all right so that's off with this one if i try and do that it is absolutely rock solid and even when you actually manage to just give it a little nick it just won't break it's just it's very kind of like stretchy and just different you just cannot get that off when i was fitting fit, fit one of these earlier and I, I weren't even thinking like it were a fake i just basically i just like to cut it and then i'm thinking wait that's not right as soon as i did that i'm thinking that's not right they, they're not like that and that were enough for me to identify that that weren't a real grip and then i put them side by side and obviously then you know i could really tell that it weren't a real grip and I then picked up on the feel that it, were, you know, were different. And once I'd actually fitted it to a golf club, this was supposed to be a plus four grip and it still tapered down. And luckily I use plus four grips. So it was quite easy for me to identify that it weren't real. Cause, you know, I know I pick one, I hold one of these every time I play golf and I just knew it weren't right. So, um, unfortunately, and he were a scratch golfer as well. Alex Moore, he won't mind me mentioning his name, you know, really good golfer. It don't matter what level you're at, these are so convincing. Anyway, let's get down to the test. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the fake grip on the stealth six iron. So fake grip on stealth six iron. You know that, I know that, but the customer won't know that. And we're gonna put the real one on the TSI free wood. Alright, so I'm gonna get them fitted and then we're gonna try and find a, a member or you know a customer was brave enough to come on camera and uh, and see what he thinks see if he gets it right or wrong and uh, we'll get their feedback on the you know how it feels and the quality 
Um, and you know, you've got to bear in mind, uh, Alex didn't even get these at a bargain price. It's not like he's picked these up for four pound and he'd have been happy having fake grips. He's paid a price where he actually thought he were getting a real grip. You know, these grips sort of retail at round about, you know, 13 99 14 99 So they are expensive and I can understand why you guys are obviously looking towards, you know, eBay and places like that to, to pick up grips. But that's just the price room. We can't get round that. You know, as retailers, we're not making a killing out of grips. You know, just our, our supply, that they're expensive and that's what we've got to sell them at. But he paid, I think he paid about eight ninety nine a grip. So what's he saved? You know, he's probably saved about four or five pounds, something like that. But, you know, it's not mega money to say he's got something so inferior. I think it's inferior. But anyway, let's see what you guys, let's see what these guys think. So while I'm just putting on the finishing touches, um, just popped outside to see if there's any members around. And we're in luck. We've got a table of four. Just having a little tipple before they go home and uh, mine I add as well it's half past five here at Uddersfield and wait we've got a visiting party in today at, uh, at one o'clock we've got five buggies out and I'm going to stay to put them away so I'm going to wait until they come in to say it bar I've into it make sure they're away right and on charge because that's just like the kind of guy I am um, and also, while we're talking about Huddersfield Golf Club, we've got a golden four ball offer for you guys, if you can get up here. It's £150 for a four ball, and, but we're only offering that rate once a day. So the first group to book in on the day gets that offer and then it goes back up to the standard rate, which is £200. So if you've not played here or you've played here and you've enjoyed it, I think that's a cracking offer. We've still got plenty of summer left as well. Right, these clubs are ready to go. Now they're fitted onto a golf club. I must say, they do look a bit more different. They don't look as alike as what they looked before they were fitted. So I'm going to put some close-ups of them in again. And then the next time you're going to see these, it's going to be in the hands of our members. And we're going to get them to give us a verdict. So first up, we've got Bernard. Bernard, you've been a long-standing member here, haven't you? I have, yeah. Many, many years. And tell subscribe, what's your handicap? Uh, I've got a handicap of six. So he's a, he's a, he's a very good golfer. Um, these guys at home knows, know which one's the fake grip and which one's the real grip. So I'm just going to get you to pick them up first. You know, imagine I've just you know sold you one of these, 14.99 fitted. Is there any of these grips you'd be unhappy with? And can, you, can you feel any difference? Yeah, yeah, the first one feels rougher. Um, this one feels smoother. And the cord feels uh, less aggressive on this this grip. Right. Okay. So, um, I mean, at, at first I, glance, do, do well, when you're uh, in look fake. In terms of look, they look identical. I mean, there's absolutely, absolutely no difference in terms of the uh, the look of these grips. Um, and this one, the one that's on the iron, definitely feels a little bit. A little bit softer, uh, sorry, a little bit more aggressive and a little bit harder. I agree with everything this, you're saying here. And this one feels a softer grip. So, so, but does that help you determine which is fake, which is um, real? I is don't know. I don't know which is fake and which is real. The one I would prefer is the one that's on the iron. <laughs> Uh, that feels like it gives me a, a don't a, tell these guys when you go back anything about what we've just done yeah. and you know if, if golf pride are watching this they're going to be absolutely turned in yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> i so think all pros at uk will be this one feels this one feels as though it sits in my hands better <laughs> wow and, and i wasn't supposed to say that one do you know what the answer is well, that's, that's the real grip isn't it yeah you've obviously yeah. guessed it yeah, yeah that is the real grip yeah but you prefer that one i prefer that one yeah in wow, terms of the feel. Yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. Well, I can't even sell you them, Bernard, because no, it'd no, be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, yeah, I appreciate your feedback yeah, today. You. So it's one nil up to the fake grips. Yeah, one nil to the fakes. Will you see if we can get someone else? <laughs> don't don't tell them out, Bernard. I won't, I won't tell them anything. So next time we've got Derek, even better golf. What's your handicap, Derek? Three point eight now. Three point eight. And how long have you been a member here? Uh, 12, 12 years. So a long-standing member. We've got a fake. Fourteen and a years. Real. Fourteen. Fourteen years. We've got a fake and real grip. The guys at home know which one's fake, but I just want you to feel both and tell us what you first of all feel when you when you hold them both, and 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 obviously looks wise. If there's any differences, you can tell. Feels pretty, pretty normal. 
teeny tiny difference. Well, when you look okay. at them side I by have side. Been dr I've been drinking all afternoon, actually, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> There's not a lot of difference between the the feel, but do you have any I idea? Th I I think because the, these are the grips that I've got, different colour. Same as me then. But um, this one to me feels doesn't feel r right. Doesn't feel as good as that one. Eggs, you've got it, you've got it. Bernard, yeah. Bernard didn't get it, he thought that was a real one. Did he? He did, yeah. Yeah, but it must. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is a, a low handicap golfer. Mm. Uh, no offence to Bernard, he's a really good golfer no. as well. But And I've been drinking But I think well, the fact you've got the grips yourself, and it was same as me, yeah. when I was fitting them, I didn't actually pick the, up on this being fake, until I thought, well, that don't feel like my grip, and it's supposed to be the same one. No, it, it, there is a, there is a, yeah, you, you look at it. And, Could you uh, play with it? Um, if 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 that were fourteen ninety nine and this were I don't know seven or eight pound, would you be happy to pay? I'm full a great price? I'm a great believer in you get what you pay for. I've just said that, yeah. I I really am. Well, the and longevity that, that, of that grip's a lot longer because I know that I've had I've had people bring fake ones in before and they wear through. Yeah, that's the next thing I was going to say. It's difficult to tell and, until yeah. you've used them for a few weeks. Yeah. And, Maybe get in but, the comments, guys. Have you bought some of these fake grips on purpose, and how have they worn? You know, some of you might have bought mm. them just because they're a cheaper alternative. I, I think probably price is the um, is the thing that does it. Yeah, why people? Go I to mean, them. I'm a, I'm a great believer in uh, changing your clubs, uh, your grips. You know, at, at least once a year. I mean, my driver, which I use all the time, I change yeah. that probably two, three times a season. This is why uh, Alex you know? is driving a nice fancy car, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she does do the job well. But uh... Uh, right, that's great. So it's one, 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 one fake, one real. We'll see if we get a decider. And I, I got it right. You got it right. Well done, Derek. Right. Appreciate that. Yeah, appreciate so it's one one. Ooh. One one. Subscribers at home know which is the fake and which is the real. So I just want you to hold both, you know, have a have a close look at them, see if you can tell any differences uh, in the grips. One's real, one's fake. I mean to give you an idea, one cost about seven pounds. Oh, I definitely prefer that one. This one. Definitely prefer and that one. And why? Because it feels a bit softer and it moulds into my hands better. Golf Pride are going to love you. Are they? <laughs> They'll be watching this Golf Pride and they're going to absolutely love you. You might get a sponsorship from might them for it. saying Well, that. I've just, just bought some Golf Pride grips and they feel like that. Do they? Yeah. So you feel like that's the better one? No, easily. Yeah, and what's that feel like then? It just feels a bit harsh and a bit slim and a bit... Yeah. It'd be okay, but... Yeah. I'd have that every day. I appreciate that. So, guys, it's 2 1. We're going to leave it there. We've got three really <laughs> Thanks, good Gary. opinions. Thanks, Adrian. Appreciate that. We've got three really good, you know, strong uh, opinions from our members, and, you know, appreciate them taking part and taking, you know, five minutes out of the drinking time up here. So, I hope you've enjoyed that video today, guys. You know, and the real point is just to make you aware of that there is fake golf grips out on the market, and I'd hate for somebody with the intention of buying a real grip to think they've got a, a real bargain when in fact they've just got a fake. And you know, putting a pro's perspective on it, your golf grip is the only contact you've got with your golf club. You know, why spoil, you know, your lovely clubs by putting some, you know, fake and inferior quality, you know, grips on, on there. And, you know, I do appreciate, you know, some of you guys are probably thinking, well, you know, price for a full set of, of you know, of grips now, it's 150, 160 pounds. And, you know, I, I appreciate not everybody can afford to spend that kind of money, but like I said, I'd just be um, disappointed if somebody really thought they were getting the real product when they're not. And, uh, you know, who am I to judge anybody that might be using these, you know, because they can't afford the real thing? I'm not. Um, and as long as you're aware of what you're buying and, you know, you're happy with that, that's fine with me. So I'm going to conclude on that. Appreciate you watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please do please do like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because it will really help me, you know, get more product to test and, and review for you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a few days time. Bye.